With the queens on the green, the queens are on the green. But we are a don't change. It's gone so low, it's insane. Out driving with the queens on the green. Welcome to Queens on the Green in the PGD Global Virtual Country Club. This episode is presented by Indigo, and we are going to get our cocktails on, and we are so proud to share this experience with the fabulous LPGA star, Maria Fossi. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. It's uh, super nice to be joining you guys tonight for drinks, and uh, excited to, to have some fun with you all tonight. Isn't that fun? Because the 19th hole don't stop, you know? It never <laughs> stops. It never stops. <laughs> um, we don't have to tap in. We can keep going. So I have to do this because your accolades are off the chain. So I just kind of want to give everybody a little bit of background information. Um, Maria grew up playing in Pachua, Mexico um, at the age of seven years old. She played collegiate golf at Arkansas University. And in 2019, won the NCAA individual title and finished runner-up at the inaugural Augusta National Women's Amateur, the ANA. Okay, so I just have to say that again because we cannot just skip through the fact that in 2019, you won the NCAA individual title. That is probably... <laughs> Your odds are like getting struck by lightning. Like, I mean, the fact that you did that, that's incredible. That's such a tremendous accomplishment. So just, we have to, we have to put a little more emphasis on that. And then just to be- Say one more time, say one more time. The 2019 NCAA individual title winner, Maria Fossi. And then, and then she has to, of course, she's like, that's not enough. Um, so then she goes to Augusta National for the, first ever uh, ANA at Augusta National and finishes runner up. So another incredible uh, event. Since 2019, Maria joined the LPGA with her debut being the 74th US Women's Open where she finished tied for 12th. Maria won her first tour event in 2020 at the Cooper Communities NWA Classic. And this year she'll be re representing Mexico in the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. Wow. Woo! I mean, talk about athletes. Maria, yeah. you are amazing. And I know that we have so many questions to ask you. Um, for me, just reading your bio, I mean, you're absolutely incredible. But I, I have to ask you, um, I want you to share a little bit about your experience um, at Augusta National what were some of your, you know, your memorable moments and, and how did you prepare for such a big event? I mean, I don't think I have ever been so excited for a tournament than that week. I mean, it was so special being the first group of women that was going to be playing at Augusta National, a, like a competitive round. And it was it was crazy. I mean, there's, there's no other way to say it other than that. Um, coolest week of my life for sure. Um, the environment, the, I mean, we had like 35,000 people on grounds watching us play that, that day. And, and, and just, I mean, throughout the week, the treatment that we got from everybody at Augusta national, from the members, from the community, like, I mean, everything was just amazing. Like, it, it's so hard to put into words what what that week meant back then. And uh, I think I was also, like, just touched for the rest of my life. I mean, I think it, it changed the way my golf career um, went about. It changed the way I looked at, at the game now. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I think it was an unbelievable week where – um, 
I got to do what I love in, in front of a lot of people and and do it well and do it well and 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 make it fun and, and smile and um yeah I mean it, it, it's pretty cool I I'm very happy that that I was able to be a part of that I mean, you didn't just fall from the sky and win an, an NCAA individual title <laughs> and, uh, you know, participate as a runner up, right, uh, in Augusta. There's a journey there. There's a story. Tell us about Pachua, Mexico, and how you learned to pick up the game of golf. Yeah, I grew up, uh, Pachuca is a small town, uh, about an hour and a half north of Mexico City. And we only have one nine hole golf course in our whole state. So golf's not very, very popular over there, but um, we happened to live at the golf course and it was something that me and my brothers always did. It was, it was just fun. I mean, I grew up having a lot of fun and I grew up uh, not being a great golfer, but really enjoying my time out on the golf course. I, um, I was able to, to learn how to love the game at an early age. Um, regardless of their results. So I think that was pretty big for me where I was just out there having fun, uh, enjoying the opportunity of getting to see new golf courses, getting to actually play 18 holes and not having to go around twice to make it be 18 holes. <laughs> uh, so I think I found joy on, on all the little things throughout the way. And I think that that helped me just have a pretty clear idea of, of what I wanted to do. And, and now that I'm doing it professionally, I, I try to kind of uh, play like that little girl, right? Like play like, like I used to play and just enjoy each shot, enjoy uh, the opportunity of being able to be out here, the opportunity that uh, golf brings me to like meet amazing and cool people like you guys. And I get to do pretty amazing stuff and, uh, talk about what I love and what I what I do and I mean it, it can't get much better than that it's a beautiful game it is I want to ask like so you know a lot of people probably ask you about your golf game and and you know how you're so successful how you prepare all that good all that good stuff but hmm. tell me what does Maria Fossi what do you do on your days off like when you're like, okay, you know what? I got to get away. I got to have balance, mm -hmm. right? What does Maria Fossi do? What is like a fun day in her life? I'm a home buddy. I love to be at home. Uh, I don't really get to hang out with my dog nearly as much as I'd like to. So I like to hang out with her and go on yep. walks and just play around. She's amazing. She just turned one. Her name's Frida. And she's not Frida even the only uh we i just like hanging out with her and stuff but i enjoy like a good spa day like mm -hmm. going to get a manicure pedicure like maybe getting a massage here and there like coming home and um like a nice bathtub and and like you know just very relaxing bunch of candles glass of wine always a glass of wine always a glass of wine yeah good movie to watch or something like that and, and just kind of take it easy for the night um so that's kind of like my go-to i guess yeah but from time to time I, I also like to just have fun and enjoy my friends and you know like cook and, and hang out and, and go for drinks and stuff like that so i what's really a bit what's of your both. Go -to dish what are you cooking i'm very good on the grill i have Argentinian Ooh. parents, so uh, mm -hmm. I grew up eating a lot of steak and, and just a bunch of stuff on the grill. So I'll just, uh, I love to grill. I mean, again, I, I grew up watching both my mom and dad do it. And uh, so now I get to do it and, and just grill and a couple of good sides uh, to go with it. What kind of, like, so every time I have the, the Argentinian meal, like the grilled meats, like what, I mean, cause there's so many options, right? You've got like sausages and you've got, <laughs> like it's it literally it galore. Similar? Like my mouth's watering. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I like more hungry, but is it similar to like Brazilian steakhouses where you kind of go and, and like, yeah, yeah. tell me like the difference, is it, is it similar or am I off? Um, I mean, if, if I'm grilling for, I could say like five, seven of my friends or whatever. Like I'll have 
I mean, I won't maybe go super all out like Brazilian steakhouses, but we will have several types of meat, I guess, to, to go with it. We'll have like, I mean, like y'all were saying, like sausages and then like maybe some mm. pork or chicken or mm. throw some shrimp in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, ribeye, flemion, like just a bunch of stuff to kind of give it to me. Yeah. Grab a little bit of, of everything and, and get to try everything. And um, I love eating from the grill, like where you just like put the mm. meat after it's done on like fresh uh, mm. yeah, and just chop it there and just nibble from there. Like not even like super casual. Uh, I love doing that. I think it even like just tastes better for whatever reason. So it's very, oh. very casual, just very family friendly uh, type of dinner. We, we have to do one of those uh, sometime soon. Oh, yes. Say, we're, we're just going to invite ourselves over. Absolutely. You're yeah. welcome. We're like, we're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Open up, Maria. We're hungry. Yeah, I got you. We'll guys. bring the wine. Yeah. We'll bring I was the wine. Say, you'll, 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 you'll take care of the drinks and I'll take care of the food and we're going to be in good nice. spirits. Yes, I love it. Always that. in good spirits. Always in good spirits. We want you to let us in on some of your magical secrets around the greens and on the course. So yeah. we need you to share with us um, a day in the life, right? And what kinds of things do you, do you do during your practice? And then, you know, if it's too magical to give away, we understand, but we, we need some of that Maria Fossey magic. I'll usually start my day with a good workout. So I, I like working out in the mornings, kind of. Get it out of the way. I'm really enjoying What time? What time? Um seven, seven thirty. Yeah. I don't I'm not a big workout fan. I do it. I, I don't love it, but but I do it. So I kinda try to just forget about it, do it in the morning and then don't have to think about it for the rest of the you day. You have like the genes because you your body is incredible, first yeah, of your all. Your body's great. Thank and you. Thank I said Maria has the best legs. <laughs> Great legs. Just I thought I had the best legs, but then I saw your legs. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I work out. I just don't don't enjoy it as much, maybe as as other people do. But uh, I'll start my day off with that, and then come home, have a good breakfast. Uh, TikTok always has very good breakfast ideas, so I'm always trying something different. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I that's all I watch on TikTok. Just like meals. Yes, and meals and I don't know. So that's that's yeah. what I do. And I'll go out to the golf course after that. I'll probably be there, let's say from like ten to one. Uh I'll just be practicing, working maybe on some of the technical things that I have to do, but like just uh doing a little bit of everything. I'll come back home, have lunch. Uh and then I tried to play in the afternoon. I like kind of forget about all the technique and like yeah. all the thinking and stuff like that and just go out on the golf course and, and have fun. How do you make Either it fun? How do you make it fun? Like what are some things that you do? Cause I know like, you know, we kind of like to spend time with ourselves mm -hmm. and we're out there practicing, you know, we need that peace and quiet. We need to focus. Yeah. How do you make golf fun for you when you're out there practicing? Or do you guys like um, games that you play? Like yeah. things. Yeah, I um, I play a lot of games like against myself. Like let's say I'll go out there with two golf balls and try to be like Maria A and Maria B and and see if uh, usually Maria B, which is the second ball, is better than the first <laughs> one, right? But that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> So I but you're really to rooting for A, a to beat Maria B. I try to be yeah. the, the first ball to be the yeah. better one rather than the second one, right? Because I it's usually opposite because we learn from the first one. But mm -hmm. I gotta try to do that. Um, and and the other thing I do a lot of is uh, I'll go out on the golf course and and maybe only have five or seven clubs, right? And and just go out there and and have to hit different shots or have to like maybe think about what I'm going to hit off the tee um, to have a better, uh, I guess, if I'm, have a big gap between two clubs or whatever, like I'll try to land my, my first shot in a place where I can hit a better second shot and, 
and just do things differently. I mean, I, I like that because then you yeah. have to like, you have to use your imagination. Right? Yes, with, with it develops a lot of skill, imagination, creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the golf course in a different way. Um, okay. So I, I enjoy that one a lot. And then also like with that exercise, I've found um, that there's a lot of shots that I hit doing like those nine holes or whatever, how many, however many holes I play. And I'm like, huh, like that, that actually, like that makes a lot of sense. That felt good. Or like around the green, if I don't have maybe my go-to wedge and I have to do something different, I'm like, oh, like that, that, that felt good. So yeah. then I can take it back to the range and, and, and practice that and um, add more stuff into uh, my repertoire, if, if you will, you know? So uh, I love playing with like members or some of my friends and, and just hang out and, and have a good time and, and do it more relaxed as well. But mm -hmm. when I'm out there by myself, I... I rarely play like normal golf. I'm always doing right. some sort of uh, drill or, or exercise. With women's it, golf growing, uh -huh. we need we need to like really share these types of mm -hmm. experiences, personal experiences that other women can pull from because it is really relaxing and you can yeah. challenge yourself and it's okay to be alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And like, I'll be out there on the course and it's say I hit a good shot or I make a good putt and I'm like, hey, let's go. Like, that was good, you know? And I'm like pumping myself up. And I don't know if there's people walking or stuff, I'd be like, what, what's going on with her? Like, she's <laughs> I'm I'm like what the is she friend? okay? I am uh, my own best friend. Do you listen to music? Do you I listen to music when you're playing? Sometimes or? I do. Yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I like to just kind of be out there and uh, I don't even have my phone out, you know? Like, sometimes I'm just like, hey, you know what? I, I'm going to be present. I'm going to enjoy I don't know the birds, the noises from the animals, and just enjoying nature. You know, I. But a lot of other times, I I'm just blasting music out there as well. So it's it's kind of a fifty fifty on. It's all move. It's all how you feel. Are you doing yeah. like? Are you doing Latin music? Are you doing Drake? Like, what are you doing? Is it like a mix? It, it is a mix. My uh, my Spotify is as diverse as it gets i mean i have from like very mexican music like mariachi pretty much and stuff like oh that to like i mean i don't know opera like i mean i have oh wow i love music you know so uh i'll just hit shuffle and see what what comes i mean i might be getting i don't know latin music and then next thing you know it's country and, and then it's a rap song i mean it's just all over the place so we're you know we're very familiar with latin music it makes yeah, us happy. Yeah, like happy. we pretend like we know what we're doing when we're dancing but oh yeah sorry. yeah we do gypsy kings right. too we do gypsy kings yeah <laughs> yeah bumbaleo is my fave bumbaleo yeah. is good volare uh-huh yeah you know, and then I it, love like Shakira, like Estoyaki. The OG Shakira. All Shakira is where it's at. I'm gonna tell you that much. But <laughs> one thing you know for sure, my hips don't lie. That is a good one. <laughs> and you yeah. know, after you listen to some of her, you like look in the mirror and you're trying to do you what, try to she, do what does. she does, and you're like, like, how in the world? Yeah, you're like, yeah. I am way off. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel you guys. I'm right there with you. <laughs> um, we need to talk fashion because you are a stylish diva out there on that golf course. Mm -hmm. um, tell us how you get ready, how you pick your outfits. Tell us about Suzu and how important fashion is to you. I think I was very lucky to find them uh, mm -hmm. kind of early on in my career to where I was able to kind of make a statement anytime I would step on the golf course and, and wear their stuff. And of course now with our line, it's even better where I get to like maybe express a little bit of um, who I am and, and what I like to, to look like on the golf course and put it out there for people to enjoy as well. Um, so I'm very thankful for them and, and our partnership, but 
Um, I don't know. I think I I really enjoy um, bright colors, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. Very fresh, like just live, lively, and um, I don't know. I think like if you see somebody dressing like this, like you kind of look at them and smile, even if you yes. know them or don't know them. You know, like so kind of having that uh, reaction, people. I I really. Uh, like it because I don't think we smile enough um, so it's nice to kind of just look and be like huh okay and you smile I'm and you move really really with your day you know like that. yeah um but in, in terms of kind of like choosing what I'm gonna wear times I'll like plan my outfits throughout the week and uh, just be like okay like I'll start with something maybe a little bit more subtle or I'm like hey you know what I'm gonna make a statement today and I just want to like go in with a bang uh, so it's more of kind of on, on what my mood um, is for the week or for the day, but I, I kind of try to mix and match uh, crazy outfits to maybe some subtle ones and and do a little bit of both uh, to keep it to keep it fun to keep it exciting and um, yeah just again bring bring happiness to the golf course bring something different and. I love what I wear and I feel good with, with what I wear. So I think that also helps me on the golf course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we're a really big fan of your line. And thank and you. Too. And you know, it's, you're right. It makes, when we watch you, like it makes us happy. Mm -hmm. But then it also makes me feel like, you know, if I was novice to the game um, and I look at a lot of golf clothing lines, I don't really see myself in a, a mm -hmm. lot of yeah. golf apparel. So it's nice that, I can look at Zuzu and everything that you've created and it makes me want to get out there. It makes me want to yeah. pick up the game. Um, mm -hmm. It is very transitional. Um, yeah, it I is. Can, you know, play golf and then enjoy an amazing cocktail with friends or, yeah. you know, a date um, yeah. on the 19th hole or at a restaurant. So um, it's really commendable. I really, really am a fan of, of Zuzu and everything that you're doing with the game of golf. The frills are adorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like they're useful they're so and you can cute. see them from a distance. They're uh -huh. cute with the wind. They're cute with the follow through. They're cute with well, impact. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, yeah. and I love the slit. The slit uh -huh. makes me feel yeah. sexy. Yeah. You know, which is. And, and the cool thing think. about it, uh, there's so many different styles of skirts. We have dresses. We have, I love playing in long sleeve shirts just to kind of protect me a little bit more from the sun, but there are short sleeves, uh, there's no sleeve shirts, there's uh, like razor back shirts where you can see even more of your back. Uh, so you can kind of mix and match. I mean, there's so many different, different options. So there's something for everybody. Maybe some people uh, don't feel super comfortable with showing their arms let's say so then you got the long mm -hmm. sleeve which is a perfect fit for them and then somebody maybe is very comfortable with their back or their arms and you have a shirt that can showcase and show that and, and make them feel even better you know so i think it's pretty cool they like you were saying the slit it's 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 there for me i love it i think it's super cute uh little like addition to the skirt well, then there's other skirts that don't have that and maybe are a little bit longer if, if you need that. So it's it's nice to see that um, it fits for everybody and it kind of tries, we, we've tried to like um, meet everybody's needs and, and make sure that everybody feels included and, and that they can wear uh, our product. And make sure that you head on over to the contest section and you can win a $150 gift certificate to Suzu and a private fitting with the lovely Maria Fossi. How about I mean, that? you don't get that every day. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> virtual, I virtual. sign up for that. I might have to sign up for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we're right. going to play a game. We're so everybody knows we're play. drinking this indigo gin today. We're drinking yes, indigo we gin. Cheers to that, ladies. Cheers. Cheers. I've got a mimosa. What's everybody, what did everybody do? Strawberries and blueberries and a little bit of uh, tonic water. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you can really taste it. Do you feel yes. that strawberry infusion? I guess you have uh -huh. to have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have some strawberries, but even without them, I, I had a little bit without them first and, and I could taste it right away. Like, I think I you can it. almost just drink it straight. Plain. 
yeah. on the rock, a little bit of yeah. ice, or you could like chill it and then just drink it like that. Just yeah, you know. that, that sounds mm -hmm. like a, a good thing. I need to give that one a try. It's, yeah, it's yeah. super yummy. Yeah, what are you guys I'm, drinking? I put um, so indigo gin. Uh, it's a berry soda water. Nice and uh, ice strawberries. And yeah. a splash of what is that juice that we have in the fridge? It's like this, um, it's like a raspberry lemonade. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds That's good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go into game time. We're going into game time. All right, it so is officially it. finished 18. We're headed to the 19th hole. So this game's called Who Would You Rather? Who okay. would you rather? And this the and this sort of game plus is called nine and indigo instead of nine and wine we're calling it nine and indigo okay. who would you rather have indigo with and play nine okay so nine and indigo bryson dechambeau okay or brooks kepka i think i gotta go with brooks he's hot he is hot. Yeah. He is hot. He's hot. Yeah. He is hot. We were talking about arms earlier. I know. I mean. Yeah. I think he's cute. I think so I'll be too busy uh, looking at him. I think there'll be a lot of cool stories coming out after a couple oh of drinks. Oh, my Then you guys can talk about Bryce DeChambeau. That would be interesting. Mm hmm Like, why are they mad at each other? Like, why, do they, why are they so a, angry at one another? I want to know. You know I, I think they're problem. like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if they're like best friends outside the golf course and they're like, hey, let's just like steer some stuff up and, and see how it goes. And then they're like, hey, yeah. what's up, buddy? You know? <laughs> yeah, no, I think Brooks is hella mad. Like, he's hella mad. Like, if you see him like walking so, by, yeah. like he's yelling, like he's, he's dropping F-bombs in front of the media that's pushing it. Yeah, I love it. I'm here for it. I'm loving it though. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of like yeah, I'm here, I'm for, here it. for it. I, I yeah. love the drop. <laughs> I'm like, oof. Um, by the way, Team Brooks Kepka. I guess that's what we're uh, we're all only because of his sexy uh, swag and his arms. Thank you. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question: Who would you rather style on the course? Okay. Would it be Selena Gomez? Huh. Or J Lo. Oh, J Lo. I love okay. Selena, but J Lo's in a different level. Category. I know. I was oh, a J Lo okay, lookalike. Okay. I was a J Lo lookalike on a talk show many oh, moons ago. Oh, there you go. Um, but here's here's what I really want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Ben Affleck or A Rod? Oh, Ben Affleck. I, yeah. Really? Yes. He's way cuter. What? Oh, okay. guys, no. no. <laughs> I don't like it, Rod. Really? What is so? Yeah. So okay, what is so, so he, okay, what so is Ben so smokes cigarettes. Tell me, tell me what is so appealing about Ben Affleck? I don't know. I just think he's hot, and he's he's not. I don't know. I like the dark hair. Uh. I kind of like his chin too, for whatever reason. Like the Boston yeah. butt the, chin? Yeah. But I don't know. I think it's different. And I like his personality. Like he like seems him. like a cool guy. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He I mean, I've never met him. I don't know, but. <laughs> well, I don't think we have to. We could, this is part of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like we already know them. You know? Just a, yeah. And they for well, sure know us. I love you like a love song, baby. I love you like a love song, baby. I love you like a love song, baby. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Like it's good. a love song, baby. Uh huh. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. It's Go always on. better to sing women's power ballads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, last question for who would you rather? Mm -hmm. Would you rather have more time or money? Time. Why? Yeah. 
Well, if I have more time, I can make more money, right? <laughs> yeah. If I have more money, I can make more time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Good answer. That's good such answer. a good answer. I like that question, though. I, I really like that one. So we're going to play the game to finish off this amazing, I mean, this has just been so much fun. So we got to go out with a bang. Um, right. We're going to play Never Have I Ever. Okay. Okay. Golf edition. And golf edition. <laughs> and, if you, and if you haven't, obviously, like, the person that goes has to, you know, drink. Because obviously, you know, we're playing yeah. Never Have I Ever. So I'll go first. Okay. Never have I ever had an 11 on a par three. Oh, cheers to that. Mm -hmm. I told you guys, I grew up being a bad golfer. I wasn't good. I probably had more than an 11. Who knows? But I should have said in a, in a tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. You're gonna just gonna make me drink my drink now. <laughs> Okay, so never have I ever hit the first tee shot out of bounds. Oh, that, that one stings a little bit. I'm going to tell you, actually, Nish was counting for me, and this was at Orange Bowl. Uh-huh. Tee shot. I literally... You know the parking lot, right? Canada, and I banana sliced it way right like, lot, like i didn't even know the parking lot was there it was just so awful i hit it in the parking like, lot i don't see the parking lot on the book i'm like yeah, what, what is happening over here yeah i don't think we can play from there <laughs> yeah so i had to re tee and it was super embarrassing but so, i will tell you she did make a five she, i got she made you a <laughs> i got you she made a 30 footer for a bogey. Hey, that's cheers to that. No, that was phenomenal. I right. thought it was really cool after that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, here we go. Starting with a triple. Here's your positive. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you go? Where, where do you go next? What's, what's the next stop? How do we, how do we follow? Where do we find you? Yeah. yeah well, um, we are in Dallas this week. And we're playing in Toledo, Ohio, uh, next week. Then we're actually, the week after that, in, in, we're playing Midland in Michigan. And it's a team event. So that's going to be a fun week. Oh, that's fun. Who's uh, your I'm playing with Stacy Lewis. She's a, oh, your fellow uh, Razorback. Fellow Razorback, that's that right. That makes sense. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank Maria, we are so honored to have you here on Queens on the Green. You are a queen. Thank you. You are paving the way for so many young girls looking at you, seeing your pink, making them happy. <laughs> you know, your beautiful golf swing, your beautiful smile. Thank you for encouraging us all to smile more. Um, we're so proud of you. And we can't wait to have our Argentinian meat dinner with wine. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for being such an inspiration, Maria. Like, not just for us, but like Nisha said, for so many young women out there who inspire to be just like you. And you're doing it so gracefully. And it's just beautiful to watch. You know, Thank you. So, like Nisha said, I'm going to say it again. We're so, so, so proud. And we're so honored to have you here with us today. So thank you. Yes, thank you guys for having me for the good time, our great drinks, and hopefully we get to do it again very soon in person and, and just hang out and have a great time. Yes. Yeah. And travel safe, travel safe, be safe out thank there, you. play well, and remember the 19th hole, don't stop. I like that. My, my okay. new favorite hole. <laughs> <laughs> Driving with the queens on the green. Queens on the green.